CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 156 through 160. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 156. A team member needs to configure a USB connected printer on a Windows workstation so that it can be used by other networked computers. Which tab in the printer's properties should the team member access to enable printer sharing? The answer is D. The sharing tab. To share a USB connected printer with other computers on the network, you need to enable printer sharing. This is done in the sharing tab of the printer's properties. Once sharing is enabled, other networked computers will be able to use the printer. Question 157. A technician needs to set up graphical remote access to various Windows, Linux, and macOS desktops within a company's local area network. The security administrator insists on using a single software solution that does not rely on an external internet connection. Which remote access tool is the technician most likely to install? The answer is A. VNC. The technician requires a tool that provides graphical remote access to multiple operating systems without needing an internet connection. The chosen solution must support Windows, Linux, and Mac OS and operate over a local network. DNC, or virtual network computing, fits these criteria, offering cross-platform graphical remote access capabilities within a local area network. Question 158. A company wants to enhance the security of their employees' mobile devices by implementing multi-factor authentication. They need a combination that ensures two different factors of authentication are used. Which of the following combinations would meet the requirements for mobile device multi-factor authentication? The answer is C. Fingerprint and password. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA for short, requires the use of two different factors from the following categories, something you know, such as a password, something you have, such as a smart card, and something you are, such as a fingerprint. The combination of fingerprint and password meets this requirement because it involves both a something you are factor and a something you know factor. Question 159. A company's IT support team needs to provide remote assistance to employees by using a tool that enables secure remote access and graphical control over the employee's Windows workstations. Which of the following tools provides this type of access? The answer is B. RDP. Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP, allows for secure remote access and provides the ability to fully control another computer graphically as if you were sitting right in front of it. It is specifically designed for remote management and provides an interactive user experience, enabling IT support to troubleshoot and resolve issues directly on the user's machine. This tool is particularly useful in environments where remote technical support is frequently needed. Question 160. During the assembly of a new computer system, a technician needs to ensure that no electrostatic discharge occurs to avoid damaging sensitive components. Which of the following tools or precautions is most effective in preventing electrostatic discharge? The answer is D. ESD strap. An ESD strap, also known as an anti-static wrist strap, is specifically designed to prevent electrostatic discharge by grounding the technician. It safely dissipates static electricity from the body to the ground, preventing the buildup and sudden discharge of static electricity that can damage sensitive electronic components. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.